I've received this wonderful pixie beauty parcel with their blushes. And I have to say, just let me try to open it with one hand. Oh. This is what I needed for this summer. It has three blush sticks, which can be used as lip tints, on the glow, blush, tinted moisture stick. They are incredible and we're gonna try all of them with you. Twist, swipe and glow. Give a dash of color for a healthy glow, for a look that's soft and sweet wherever you go. Pixie Beauty, incredible parcel. I'm so happy that they don't forget me. Three shades, a Juicy Fleur and Ruby. Today we're going to apply uh, Pixie Beauty blush in three shades. We'll apply it on my cheek and on my lips. And then I'll apply another shade on my cheek again. And we will just compare, see which one is the best. And just see how they apply, how they look, the texture. So we will start with the shade Fleur, which is beautiful pink. What I'm going to do, this is how it looks, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do it very simple, twist, glow, twist, turn, glow. I'm going to literally just swipe and then I'm going to uh, disperse it with this brush. Let's do it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Let me put it somewhere here and let's just... Well, it might look bright and vivid, but it's just sheer when you start applying it, it goes as just a bit of a hint of color. I don't know if you can see it very well. I can see it pretty well. So here's my natural redness. I tried to cover it up, but you know, with redness you can cover it up as much as you want, but it comes back. So this is it. I can try to apply a little bit more because I know that camera kind of eats the color. But I don't want to look like a clown, do I? So this is it. Now we will apply it on my lips which I'm going to do it this way, don't repeat it at home. Actually, very comfortable. Mm. So yeah, it might be just slightly too pale for me, I have to say. But, you can tell what color it is and it's quite comfortable, I was wearing this before. And I just wore it all day, no problem, it didn't fade much, obviously I add and eventually it just disappeared. Okay, let's try the shade Ruby on my other cheek. Because, let me put it back, because it's in the same kind of, you know, in the same group of colors, it's, uh, I don't know, how you call that, like a, like a, like a evening rose, <gasps> something like that. So I'm doing, I'm gonna do the same trick, oh, you can tell, flush of colors straight away, I think it's gonna be my favorite, sorry, I'm always <laughs> diving. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm using the same brush but different side of it. All I'm wearing is the tinted moisturizer now and I've tried to apply a little bit of concealer on my red spots. Oh, I think I prefer, well, 
don't know, I think I prefer ruby because fleur is maybe too warm for me, too warm for me. Maybe if I had like a full coverage, pure clean canvas, I would have a slightly different uh, perspe perspective on these colors. But, what do you think? Can you see the difference, by the way? Well, from the mirror, mirror tells me that this side, although this side looks pretty, pretty, pretty as well. I'll have to take off this lipstick now, lip tint, and try to apply ruby and let's see how this will look with ruby. So this is, we have fleur, this is ruby. And now ruby will be on my lips and we have third one which is juicy, I think, which is like an orange tone, corally orangey. Yes. So this is now shade ruby and we will apply it on my lips. I'll do the same trick. I'll do the same trick as I do with, as I did with uh, Fleur. But I don't advise because it's uh, less sheer, it's kind of more opaque, opaque. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, isn't it? This is definitely beautiful summer shade. Shade Fleur. I took fresh brush, um, and it's like oh, what is this coral? Is it coral, orangey? Which I doubt whether it's my kind of blush. So what I've done, I've cleaned totally this area and put a layer of fresh layer of foundation for the purity of experiment. Obviously, I clean my tea, clean my teeth. <laughs> Obviously, I, I uh, took the tint of my lips, and now we have clean canvas, and we're going to apply it. Mm, well, I might have to take my word back about it being not my type. I can imagine if I had tan. That would be just a perfect shade. Let's build it. What I like, it's buildable, isn't it? It builds so well. I don't know if you can see. The problem is my my own redness, which just goes through and it, I would say, it's just makes every color of blush look pretty well the same. That's a pity, actually. But you might be able to see, especially I think when I put it on the lips, you will be able to see the difference. So here we have Ruby. Here we have now Juicy, and I can't tell which I like more. Fleur, I think I don't like on my lips at all. I like ruby on my lips, I like ruby on my cheek, but it can be a bit dramatic, I would say. This is a summer shade, that, that is a winter shade for me. I, I can imagine when your face is like... Mm, Lighter, my obviously my face will be lighter. I will use lighter foundations, and yes, it will be like snow white. But this is this makes my lip pop straight away. As soon as I apply this, my lip poof. Now let's apply them on the lips, uh, but I'm not so hopeful. I think it will look. Underestimating it, like twist it. 
Let's do it again. Do 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 do. What do you think about this? Fountain for you. Sorry, I, I have this like a hair, tiny little hair, which is <laughs> making me itch. Let me clear the contours now. Yes, of course, it's better to use a lip brush. I'm just being. I'm just being a naughty girl and not doing it. So what do you think about this? So we have a Juicy Juicy Ruby. I love it. I love all of them. Well, if I had a porcelain skin, probably that would give you the better impression, but I don't. Unfortunately, we work with what we have. 